Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create a flight departure board animation effect like this one. Now the animation effects that you just saw can be quite effective as a way of slowly revealing the text to the audience. And it's actually quite easy to create as well. Now the first thing we need to do is get those rectangle shapes onto the slide. So if I just start to insert my shapes and bring in a rectangle, and it shouldn't take too long if I duplicate some that I have. So let me just put that first one in there. I'm going to type in a question mark because that's what I had in that uh, demonstration a moment ago and I'm just going to quickly have to do some formatting I don't want to spend too much time on this so this will be quite brief just quickly choosing a fill color for the shape that I want I'll beef up the, the font size a bit like that and then I'm just going to simply click and drag that shape and whilst I drag I will hold down the control key to make a copy and I'm demonstrating in PowerPoint 2016 here and in these later versions of PowerPoint we have these fantastic smart guides look at how it tells me that I'm aligned with the other shape and I'm equally distributed all at the same time and because I want the word travel which is six letters six characters once I've got those three I could even highlight those then click and drag with control again keeping my eye out for the guides and now straight away I know very quickly that I've got six rectangles the same shape same alignment same distribution once I've got those I'm going to select them and click and drag with control to create a duplicate six below keeping them in alignment which is not that important right now, but it will uh, aid us a little bit later. And on this second group, I'm just going to replace the question marks with the letters which will be revealed with the animation effect. Let me quickly type these in. Next is a V, next is a E, and next is an L. So very quickly we have the six kind of rectangles in place. Now we need to start looking at the animation effect. Now when this is finished we are going to put these other six uh, rectangles on top of the other six. But for the purpose of creating the animation it's easier to do that if we keep them separate and move them in place later on. Now these first question mark effects, these rectangles, these are going to be exiting while the text then is introduced. And the effect that you saw in that demonstration is the swivel effect. So I'm going to click on my first question mark and I'm going to go to my animations tab and I'm just going to scroll through the gallery into the exit effects and choose the swivel that gives me a quick demonstration of what it looks like exit in there then I'm going to move over to the timing area and instead of when clicked I'm going to select with previous so as soon as I bring the slide in this is going to kick into play you may decide to choose when clicked if you're going to deliver this stuff so that you have control over when that animation begins. And then the duration, I'm changing that to 0.5. You can set whatever durations you want here. As we go through this video, you'll see why I'm choosing these timings. I'm just going for a 0.5. That's what you saw in the demo. I'm then going to click on the rectangle below. And this one, is also going to be a swivel effect but this one will be a entrance swivel effect 
So I'll choose that one. Quick little demonstration of it swiveling in. Then I'll change the start area of timing to with previous. And now the important thing, the duration, I'm going to set as half of the time of the previous one. So as the question mark rectangle exits, taking 0.5, this one's coming in, taking half of that time. And I'm then going to set a delay also of 0.25. So that equals 0.5 in total. That matches the uh, duration of the other effect. But this one will start coming in halfway through. Now moving on to the next question mark up above, this one now is going to be another exit swivel. Let me scroll down to it. And this one will be after previous. So I want this to come in after the previous character has finished its animation. I'm planning on doing an example here where you can do them all at once as well. You may disagree with some of my subtle settings here. But I'm going to choose after the previous one, and once again, the duration will be 0.5. Now that's going to be the same for the rest of the characters. So I'm going to take the moment here to select that rectangle, double click the Animation Painter button, and I'm just going to apply this to the others. I'm going to click on this one, and then this one, and then this one. And then the last one. So the same animation is very quickly applied. I can then turn off the painter and move to the next letter along, the letter R. And this is going to be the same as what we did with the letter T. These will always be with previous and in the duration and delay that I spoke about a moment ago. So I could use my animation painter again, but this time I think I'll just select each one, go and choose my entrance swivel, make sure it says with previous, and I'll set these to be my 0 0.25 and 0 0.25. Now because of the order that I've created these um, animation effects, we're going to have to look at changing the order because the way I've created it is not the way that I want these effects to be introduced. Now I've just noticed, sorry, just before we do that, that I do have a little mouse click icon on my effects. You see this number one that indicates it's going to be happening with a click of a mouse. Uh, so let me just come into here. You see it says when clicked. I don't want that, I want with previous. That said with previous when I was selecting these, that slightly confused me for a moment there. But now as I click along, you can see the zero on each one. But as you click along, you can see they are now with previous. Okay, that was a little bit strange, but now they're set. So what I want to do to change this order is I'm going to click on the animation pane. I love the animation pane. It makes animating kind of several objects on a slide so much easier. Uh, than using the, the little icons I just was talking about. And I can see in here I've got the shape numbers which will help me get this order right. The first two are already done because that's the order that I was setting the animations. But then when I started multi-selecting and using Animation Painter, I was no longer creating the animations in the order that I want them to occur. So I'm just going to drag these entrance swivels so that they occur after the associated exit swivel. Just dragging each one up, so 52 would go in there, 53 would go in there, and then 54 is naturally going to be after that one. So now they're all in the right place. I can get rid of that animation pane. And the last step here really is to select my six letter rectangles and just simply drag them up over the top of the others so with everything in alignment, that should completely replace them. Nobody would know that the others are even there. And then, 
you know, do any position on slide if you wish. I may decide just to move these over a little bit. And then to see the demonstration, we can go for slideshow from beginning. This is just going to immediately start animating. And there you have it. Let me do that one more time. So here we go as they come in character by character with that subtle little delay and duration that we were setting. As I say, you can change those if you're not happy with the 0.5 duration I'm doing. And then the 0.25 halve, you can extend that. You could have it as you know, 1 and 0.5. But that's what I've got in this demonstration, slowly revealing each character uh, to the audience. Now, as I was saying, you can adjust these timings if you're not happy with the example that I've done. You may also decide that you don't want each character to come one off the other in turn. You want them all to be revealed at the same time. So to show what I'm talking about, if I just select these characters again and move them out the way, and then I could just come into uh, each of these and just change the after previous to come in with previous. So I no longer want them to occur after the previous animation effect, after the previous letter. I want them to be all happening at the same time. Now I don't have that many, so I'm just going to each one at the moment and selecting uh, with previous. But you can also adjust these settings. So I could select each of these question marks that are exiting and I could change the duration to 1 and then I can come to each of these text characters coming in and maybe set them to a duration of 0.5 and I can set the delay as a 0.5 as well and with these settings let me move these back on top and I just want to double check my animation pane that it is still in the right order. We are okay. And let's have a look at what this looks like. So if I click on from beginning, I can see it all being revealed at once. So rather than character by character, let me see that again. On the click of a mouse or the introduction of the slide, all six characters are revealed at the same time. And I slowed that uh, duration down just a tiny bit. I mean, we're talking a second. <laughs> uh, you may decide to have it an even slower reveal than that uh, for greater impact maybe depending what this word will be here that is just a one second slow reveal of all six characters as opposed to character by character I hope you found this video tutorial useful please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com